Can I get a help? Ladies and gentlemen, I just finished Man of May Day not too long ago. So just because I love those type of games, you know, like Until Dawn, you know, Man of Medan, um, or any like Telltale type of game, where it's like your what you do has a big effect going further. Um, I'm really big into those type of games. Since we finished that series, I would want to go with a uh, little hope. Um, I love these type of games. These are like it's not my top favorite games to be quite honest with you. I just I love these like these big decision making games where you can where what happens in the beginning game, you know, could affect what happens towards the end. So, you know, without going too much into detail and going on to a bit a bit of a rant, I just would say let's start Little Hope. So I don't have any friends, so I'm gonna play this by myself. Little Hope. I have a little hope of me not getting scared in this episode, so let's see what's going on. Roadside Diner, 9.42 p.m., present day. Okay, it's just going to be over in a bus. Surely nothing's going to happen to us, nothing bad at least. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very unlikely. It seems like it'd be wise to just travel in the morning, but I mean, whatever. If that happened, if that would happen. That would this whole story would be irrelevant. You know, what I mean, this wouldn't have none of this would happen, and we wouldn't be sitting here today. So here we go, as we travel down to ominous, ominous road. Okay, something's definitely gonna pop up. Because, you know, in the beginning of these games, they always have something scary. Be like, Ugh. Give you a little shock factor just to make you like, oh, man, I don't want to play. What have I got myself into? Okay, so. All right. Anything going to happen? No? It's just us driving the bus. No dialogue, nothing. Nothing, what, nothing whatsoever. Nothing at all. It was the police. Okay. What did you stop us? Detour. Okay, cool. Something happened. Okay. Why are you why are you doing all that? You see detour, just make a right. Okay. Yeah, just hop on the bus, why don't you? You're welcome. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. Big accident. We've had to close the road. Mm. Right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. Oh, of course. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. He knows Just something. To get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Well, that's convenient. Imagine he just drives straight through, straight, you know, straight. Godly, I can't speak. Imagine if he just drove straight through and, you know, boom, there's no story. You know what I mean? So, of course, we're going to stop probably for gas. Ugh. Okay, cool. No worries. No worries. We're just going to drive down. Down the road to a scary little town in a little hope that he knows something about. But what does this guy know? He's shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from home. You are now entering Little Hope. Welcome to our historic town. You're going the wrong way. It's fine. Just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John. Could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Oh my god, there's a kid. I bet you that wasn't actually a kid, it was probably like a ghost. Alright, well I guess uh, now we're forced to stop here over here, a little help. Convenient. 
At least there's a house there, so. But what lies inside the house? We do not know. But we will probably find out, more than likely. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend <laughs> These are facts. back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Uh, uh, father of the year. For sure. He was definitely in the wrong for that. Not tonight. No way. Okay, so our there's our characters. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Okay, uh, give her a break. There you At least go. one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All right. that new so is it really your call there, bud? Reminds me of some creepy cult. Yeah, but you look like a school shooter, but well, we're not. We're not talking about that. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Let me stop. That was wrong. That, that school shooter joke. So I'm guessing these are like a dysfunctional foster family or something, or they adopt everybody. Come on, don't be a dick. I like this character. He's a nice guy. Right. Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? That's our sister, dude. Climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. Oh, that's why you don't like him. He's a racist. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could like have always? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. That dude definitely Think takes after his father. Past life. What's curled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. So is it like a prequel? Hey, Dennis. Hey. Don't be mean to Not her. Now, sis, I'm busy. <gasps> hey, quit acting crazy. It wasn't her, bud. I don't think it was. <laughs> oh my God. Sweetheart. Yeah, me too. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. 
take a break from this madhouse for a while? She's want somebody to talk to. She's gonna play a bigger picture in the story. I can tell. Okay, well she got the key. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Probably I'm gonna leave Megan alone. alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. Okay, so the goal for this gameplay is to keep him alive the whole game. That's my goal. All right, so what we do? What is this? It's a matchbox. Okay. Time to make some tea. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm terrible at these. Okay. It's when it gets faster, it gets louder. He's gonna grab us, Sydney. Nope. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Ten years checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Nah, you're just being weak. All you're trying to do is hide behind the alcohol. You gotta do better, man. Alcohol don't solve all the problems, man. That's all. I, I can speak for experience. Uh, I tried that. Uh, wasn't a big deal. It wasn't really, uh, felt like it was uh, negatively affecting my life. So I had to cut it, you know, call it quits on that, you know. Um, but I feel a lot better. Now I don't do it anymore. I mean, I do it every now and then. I'm not going to say I don't do it at all, but every now and then I have like one or two, but nothing crazy, you know. Maybe like social drinking, but doing it by yourself while watching TV. Hey, Tanya. There's no, come on. You up there? You're just doing it to get drunk. How's Megan doing? Don't know. I haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Shut the hell up. I'm trying to sleep here. To sleep now in your bed. Sleeping Beauty, wait. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. <sighs> yeah, because you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. It's all in the oh, yeah. Out anyway. Just Every day, though? In with Tanya and Megan. Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. Well, it'd be easier if you didn't drink so much, but what are you going to do? Oh, man. Do I go upstairs? Where, 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 is, where am I going? I'm guessing I... I don't think I'll go back in here. Um... So yeah, we... Is that done? Nope. Okay. What is this? Megan Clark. Okay, um... Attendance, one, two, three, blah, blah. Number, days present. Days absent. Okay, so just... All her grades. Okay, cool. Oof, she can pull them grades up because there are um, some C's, but there's a lot of D's and F's. At least there's an A in um, music. She does she does like music, but 
Out of the way, though, we need to get those grays up. Those are no bueno. But you know what it is? It could be, um, she could be so smart that school's just... Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Thought we were looking for Megan. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me... Yeah. He's in the attic. You could be right about my family. Who in the Daniel, hell are you? What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let Interesting. You back in. Go easy on Megan. Let me ask doors locked. Of course it's locked. Okay, so she's a little hellion, isn't she? Okay. Well, you know, I can't blame. He really blame her though. She's she in a dysfunctional household. The kitchen's on fire. Are you fucking serious? Megan. I'm saying it's no excuse though. It's no excuse for the kid to do that. But Dad. come on, man, get up <coughs> and you get down. Mom. And you get out. They're inside. Then you jump. <laughs> Dude, broke it. Break a window. That little girl's a psycho. Anthony! Hey! Up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? Everybody's gonna have to jump out some windows. It's gonna be a part where I have to choose who to save. I can't save everybody at once. Hey, be quiet. You wanted to take a sleep. You wanted to sleep. Okay. Stay low. There's no, there's no windows in the bathroom, I guess. Oh no, the roof's about to fall. Be careful. Of course, there's there's a little little Miss Clark. Oh, there goes the roof. Oh my God, that's gotta be a uh, upsetting to watch. Yeah, he's dead. Rest in peace. Come on, please, please be a good girl and please unlock the door for Mama. Come on, she's nothing but kind. Oh, she's dead. She suffocated through smoke. Oh no, that's gotta be a horrible way to go out. Help! We know she's. Oh, we pick. What are we doing? Help Tanya. Help Megan. Well, Tanya realistically can jump down. In, in, in all seriousness, and realistically, she she can jump. And that little girl, she's young, but we can with mental treatment. Oh, she's dead? Are you serious? <laughs> Don't get back in the house. She just jumped over the balcony. It's a lot easier to... Oh, God, it's a lot easier to survive a broken leg than a, a, a burn. Are you dying? Oh my goodness. Oh, but the, but, come on, what about the brother? Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, he's still good. Yo, just jump down. We'll catch you. Oh my gosh. We did not catch him. Oh my gosh. I made the wrong decision. Oh my goodness. All because we try to make tea. Mom, stop. No, 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 no. Come on, you're supposed to live, bro. Come on.
Won't you spare me over till another Welcome back! Hello. Hi, how are you? And welcome back. Thanks! I have a new story for you. It's very okay. different to the last. Nice. Change is cool. Ooh, nice book. Oh, the first one was a boat. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Well, that's good. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's okay. It's part written, and the choices you make will complete it. Oh, nice. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. Okay, What's good. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. Yep. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self. Be true. Okay, be true to yourself. Got it. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope 
that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. Okay. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Oh, no. Hmm. I'm calling it. That dude is a death. He's definitely death. So did a whole family die, or did a did a main character? Did he still survive? None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened, but we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity. No, that God's sucks. Loving embrace. Praise the sun. Dark Souls reference. So they're all dead. The hell am I looking at? Oh, he's alive. Oh, yes. I'm so glad. Andrew, 18, college student. Anxious, detached. I mean, can you blame him? His whole family died right in front of him. Taylor, 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. Mm, sensitivity might be a weakness. John, 43, college professional, rational, overbearing. Mm. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Plan is Taylor. Ah! Uh, instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? Yes, yes, come on. We gotta work together. What's he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. All right, I'm on it. I already tried we got to work together. To I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. Did the bus driver survive? <sighs> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. To the bus driver? Uh, nope. Uh, Daniel, 20, college student. Amiable and uh, defensive. Where's my phone? Uh, At least we found a flashlight. Uh, uh, Angela, 48, mature student, abrasive. Understand him, understanding. Okay. Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. <laughs> you okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. That just seems like there could be an easier way. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait, I don't remember anything. 
Who are you? It's okay. Oh, amnesia. Cast. I'm John, you're a college professor. We were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. Uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Okay. Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. I mean, how does he know? I don't think leaving the bus is smart. I'm staying here. You can't stay. No one's been down this road since we crashed. No one knows we're here. Well, I mean, he's naturally driver, he's a teacher, so he's already in charge. Him? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. He could just as easily have banged his head and walked off the other way. That is true. Fine. You can stay right here. I'll go myself. Hey, professor! He is a professor, right? I'm still fuzzy. Can we stick together? I don't want to wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? <sighs> guess so. Okay, so... With all that being said, we're going to end it here. Um, so basically, yeah, so we had that crazy intro with that dude and his family. Andrew and his family and his whole family died in front of him. Um, we talked to what I believe to be death. Um, so now we're Taylor trying to regroup with the gang. And, you know, hopefully we'll have to find some Scooby stacks on the way. So um, anyway, I'm going to end it right here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you guys and keep on keeping on. <laughs> okay, bye.